Yo guys, I'm playing Inscription for the first time ever. It was voted as the sub Sunday game for the day. Inscription, here's what I know about it. This is my first time ever. It's a card game. Uh, I also had to add the mature rating to the game when I started playing it. My stream is now mature rated. And apparently the game is very spoiler sensitive. Uh, I have taken off Twitch chat from the screen so that uh, everyone can enjoy without the distraction of anyone that gets past our line of defenses against back seating. So let's take a look at the options. Oh, they're... Oh, okay. They're acting cute. They're already showing you what kind of game it is by putting the menu in the spot and everything. I see, I see. They're fully role-playing. Oh, okay. Everything is... Yeah, this reminds me of those uh, competitions to make the worst possible volume sliders. I'm not saying this is bad, but let's say it's non-meta. You get those really weird volume sliders where uh, it's not logarithmic, it's not linear, it's just wild. I don't know if you guys seen some of that. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Huh. Now play your stoat. Um, <laughs> oh. Dude, they really don't explain you how to do anything, huh? You just have to figure things out for yourself. I actually scrolled... Them three. I scrolled down with my cursor. And, and then I just went. I guess it hurts. Uh, stoats cost one blood. Sacrifice must be made. So we're gonna hurt our squirrel. An honorable death. Play the stone. I think they feel like if they explain you how everything works, it makes it feel too much like a game. And they wanna make this feel more real. Okay, what now? Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left, it's its attack power, or one. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. That's nice of him. Who is this? <laughs> you win if you tip my side all the way down. Hey! Like this. Oh, I realized that's him talking. All the, like... <laughs> that's him actually talking. Or him, it, or her. Your stone stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. Oh, That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reduces, z uh, reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Huh? You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. This is a squirrel. This is my deck. There's only one card in my deck. How reckless of you. Why... Why is it reckless? You are lacking sacrifices for that creature. To play that river snapper, you'll need to sacrifice two different creatures. How can he assume I'm reckless when I didn't know what I was doing? Your wolf demands more blood. Okay, so I have to end turn again. Because you're learning, I will pass. <laughs> You've drawn all the creatures from your deck. A squirrel is your only choice. Okay, so squirrels are the ones you sacrifice. So this is like the equivalent of a mana card or a land card. Yeah, okay. And then? Huh? Hey, stop. Fear not, the beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. And then I miss what he said next. So we played the wolf. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. Pass. You have a huge deck? No, I have nothing left. I only have... Wait, how do I... Um... Ah, W-A-S-D... Okay, you can also use WASD. Okay. 
draw another squirrel. Can I draw another squirrel? You may only draw a card at the beginning of your turn. All right, I figured I'll try, you know. What's this? Huh? Can I click him? Just take him on, you bastard. Would I sacrifice my wolf for a river snapper? That, f that feels like a bad play. But I just did it. <laughs> I feel like you should only sacrifice squirrels. You've won this match. Then why did you do it? Because I'm experimental. Why did... Why did the, the professor build the Frankenstein monster? Because progress will not be halted at any cost. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You were lost deep in the forest. This is uh, quite creative. It's quite creative, the kind of uh, game that they built with the vibe that they're setting is uh, nothing like I ever played before, at least. I don't know if it was inspired by something else, so I don't know where to properly lay credit. They went for an atmosphere, mysterious and spooky. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The caustic adder damage from its poison bites is always lethal. Ah. The undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Infinite life. Only one may grace your poultry deck. The cat. I feel like I chose wrong. I want to redo. I want the adder. I don't care how many squirrels die for my purposes. This is like sustainability of my deck so I never run out. I don't even know how important that is yet to not run out. I want to kill lots of squirrels. Anyway, no adder. Sag. Some of the creatures of the forest se seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. Hudwink will remember this. A squirrel in a bottle. And you have a second. Another useful implement. Dude, this is so similar to Buckshot Roulette. <laughs> this game is probably quite popular. So I can see the inspiration that would happen another useful implement i'll allow you to tip the scales with it i know it's the other way around you know i read a lord of the rings copycat series book before i read lord of the rings so i felt like tolkien was such a ripoff three is as much as you can carry what series uh it's by robert mckiernan trek to Krachenkor. Trek to Krachenkor. Which I think is the fourth book of the series, but it's the most memorable name. If you search for that, you will find it. If you want an, uh, a soft tea made out of the leather shoe that Lord of the Rings is, and you want to make a tea out of that and then drink it, I recommend Robert McKiernan's series. It's actually not that bad. So long as you can get over the uncanny similarities it has the lord of the rings which is four half-sized creatures travel from their peaceful homeland to fight a battle against the dark in the east an encroaching shadow while enlisting the help of elves and humans and dwarves quite a comparison i know it's a really compelling story until you realize it was actually written to be inside the Lotter universe, but the Lotter estate denied him, and instead he wrote his own copycat prequels. Because he meant to write a sequel to the trilogy of the uh, Lord of the Rings, and they didn't accept his sequels. And so he rewrote book one, two, three Lotter story to fit his and changed as much names and stuff as possible for it to not be outright plagiarism. 
<laughs> three is as much as you can carry. All right, so we've got three special items. How many languages can I speak? Dutch, English, German, a little bit of French, a little bit of Chinese, uh, and Orkish. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Uh, by stumps? And there's a boulder. Oh, they're terrain modifiers. I guess they don't have an attack. <laughs> the hell? You may not see my moves ahead of time. Oh, this is the tutorial. I get it. So he's gonna play a wolf cup here with one HP and one damage. You are lacking sacrifices. Your boulder cannot be sacrificed. Okay, I was wondering about that. So we can only play a squirrel and we shouldn't play it in front of the wolf. Let's start biting the stump. Is that a thing? Though I think squirrel has no attack damage. Need I remind you your items may help? Uh, wait, how many squirrels am I allowed to play? Oh, I'm allowed. Everybody's laughing. Oh, I can just play them all. What's this again? Ah! What? <laughs> oh my god, what is this? I don't think you would really. I didn't think you would really do it. Wait, what was that? <laughs> I just took out my tooth. I hate that. I don't like that at all. Wait, why would I put in a cat over a squirrel? I don't get the point. Oh, because it has two lives. I think you can sacrifice him twice. Or forever. Oh, so I probably overate squirrels. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not pet it, pettish. Ah, okay, okay. All right. Good. Now what? Oh. Mind the ambitious wolf cup. It ages swiftly. Oh, shit. Every turn it ages by one or what? So it looks like... Oh, okay, I see. He said, you know what I'm going to do next. This is where he's going to be placing it. Now I get it. Airborne. A card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. Oh. Yo, that's like uh, Magic the Gathering. You fly, you deal damage to player. Cannot be blocked by non-flyers. Unless you have spiders. Okay. Got a wolf. So I don't think I want to play the wolf because he needs two sacrifices and I don't want to sacrifice a stoat. So I'll just end turn. Bat flies over. My, ha, my bat flew right over your stoat. Why did I draw a squirrel? Uh, I guess I could just put the wolf here. Because it's going to deal more damage, so it's still better. Oh, the wolf can attack the bat. I see. Uh, we win, yeah? Okay. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. Okay, understand. Space bars for ending turn, okay. You drew the squirrel because you're laughing and happy. Everyone is laughing. Thanks for the sub, Joe Tato. Pretty good tutorial. We're easing into it. I've heard a lot of people say it gets even better uh, later happy. on. Yo, Nova, thank you for the sub, appreciate it. Like it gets better hours in. Some of my viewers were afraid that I wouldn't enjoy the start as much as uh, later on. 
so far not a not a a, a found a truly found concern founded concern the meek sparrow an inexpensive if feeble flying creature i'll take the flyer you stumbled into some strange stones in the mist You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Uh, well, we've played with the cat. Let's try the sparrow. But he's got, he's got eternal lives, surely. <laughs> you looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. What? Host for what? The snapper then. He's very healthy. He's got six life. Oh, now he's a... A ghastly spectac... Spectacle. Spectacle. But the soul of the cat now lives in the river snapper. That seems like a terrible decision. Because now my six health snapper has an infinite life. If I had known, I would have taken more of a glass cannon rather than a tanky boy. I didn't know what's gonna happen. Behold my totem, it inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. He's completely insane, you see that, right? No care for the rules, pathetic really. Enough! Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. To watch me suffer. So I wonder what happens. Well, let's just uh, put the squirrel here. Back on the board. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Uh, I need a squirrel. Oh, I already used all my special power-ups. In hindsight, that doesn't feel ideal. dead you've lost use this as a learning opportunity using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment get up get up from the table what's this fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel is beside the door oh oh <laughs> I did not expect this to be part of the game as well. <laughs> I snuffed it out. Help! Let me out! I want the hammer. Give me the hammer. You know what? I think these are gameplay mechanics. Ah! Freaky hand. Yeah, take it then. Now sit back down. I think those are gameplay mechanics. Where's the table? Where do I sit actually? Oh, here. Oh, okay, I see. Let me explain something to you. <laughs> These are my lives. <laughs> I knew it. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. 
when he says sacrifice you that's just in the game right it has no consequences in real life now where were we I'm sure it's nothing. Okay, good. The conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. The proud wolf, a vicious contender. The watchful bullfrog, it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. There we go, it's not a spider, it's a frog. Fire. Uh, do we go to the fire or to the scarecrow? Go to the fire. You come across a small group of survivors faces shrunken from starvation they huddled around the campfire they looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned come warm one of your creatures by the fire one said warm it by the fire that will enhance its power said another you noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth now i know many of you are not detectives but i can explain the significance of the drool you may mistake it for a mouth-breathing simpleton. Spittle of drool from the corner of their mouth as not much is going on upstairs. But I think the true significance of this drool is as a lubricant for impending feeding. Which means that if it started when I came over, I think they're attracted to me. Carnivorously. Omnivorously. Bip, bip, bip. Wolf, river snapper. Oh, I still have the river snapper. Let's go. Wait. Oh, they're gonna. Oh no 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 no! They're gonna eat something. Pick something else. Oh, he knows he's gonna get eaten. The fire warmed, warmed poor stoat, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, he pulled the stone away from the fire and left. Oh, I thought it was gonna get eaten. I wanted to see what would happen if I uh, fed the stone, but it looks like it actually buffed it. What's this? Grand fur. Grizzly, four six. Oh my God. We start with a squirrel and we, we do a bullfrog. Yeah. No, no. Okay, I think that's. Can I draw a card? You cannot draw a card on your first turn. Okay, go. Okay, almost dead, almost dead. Uh, so now we need another squirrel, which we will place here. And then we are going to sacrifice these two to put a wolf, but it's going to lose. I mean, I... well, that sucks. How? So now I just keep feeding it units. So I put the squirrel and then I put the sparrow, but then he's going to kill that and then... And then I can't play anything anymore because I don't have the squirrel and now I'm dead. It's because I didn't keep any of the... Oh no. Oh no. Have mercy. No, no. Ah! But that's the tutorial, right? So it's going to let me keep playing. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Oh, roguelike? Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death guard. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Okay, how about I put my hand in paint and then I put my hand on it. And then nothing has to be unpleasant. We can just leave a little artistic mark 
of my essence in my life and you don't have to do anything weird like draw blood and decorate it with my blood or anything here are some cards from your mediocre deck yes indeed we can put that to good use okay choose a card to draw the cast from a cost of one blood from the bullfrog yes and uh, another this time i will use its power and health the numbers okay yes and then now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils i never did ask you your name grubby the first there is now but one final matter the portrait Does it take from my webcam? I wonder if it takes from my webcam. I didn't give permission for it. It'd be funny if it did. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. I wish it took from webcam, yeah. You gain a bone when one of your creature perishes for any reason. Oh, so including from sacrifice. That's different than Warcraft 3 then. In Warcraft 3, if you sacrifice, there's no body. Only if it dies normally. So I can't play it yet. You're lacking the bones for that creature. Squirrel. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. Okay, understood. You won't lose it until it's spent or until the battle ends. Rattlesnake. Oh, what? Oh, his rattler attacks me. We don't trade a. Fu we don't trade blows. So it was actually bad to put it there. I should have. I should have taken damage and then kill it for free. Then I get map control. Now I can't do shite. I do have enough bones to play the opossum actually. So here's what I'm gonna do. I play the wolf, sacrifice these two, and then I play the opossum and I put it here and then my opossum is going to kill the 3-1, even though it's 1-1, one, one, which is a good trade. And the wolf is not going to get hit by his rattler. And we get 3 damage on him. Okay, now... Now we're playing. Got the bullfrog. Okay, so I can either keep up 1 damage here. 1 damage per turn, but he has 3 damage per turn. So it's a repositioning game. So even though I don't want to sacrifice the opossum for a bullfrog, I'm going to do it because I get the first strike on this rattle. And now I've got map control and I don't trade three for one. Going to place a squirrel here. We got nothing else. And that's a win. Okay, cool. Learning, learning. Now we're thinking with cards. He's learning. Gears are turning. <laughs> My gamer. <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's besides the safe. Let us continue. All right, people aren't really spoiling. I can turn the chat on again. Let's keep it that way, mods and, and viewers. Y'all a uh, great audience. The meager coyote, but what did you expect for only four bones? I see. The nefarious rattler, a battle creature, once passed its monstrous fangs. Oh, I didn't even look at the third one. No. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I guess 
I guess I took that one without checking the third. Now that's a gamer move. That's a gamer move. To keep your blood flowing. A rock may get you out of a hard place. I'm not sure that's how it works. Oh, I guess the boulder is like a tank. It's like a wall in, in uh, magic. A zero attack fat blocker. Feeling overburdened enough with the full three items, you carried on. Oh, so if I can sometimes earn a new one, I should at least use one so that I've got infantry space. Otherwise, I'll waste new opportunities to get new trinkets. Okay, let's see. What's that? He's coming in with the wolf cup. We can actually tank it and then hit him back. Or we can just attack harder somewhere else. Or, or attack equally hard somewhere else. But since it's going to grow, I feel like it's better to put it in the same position. We absorb one hit and then we kill it back and prevent it from becoming a 3-2. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent, or I will tear you to shreds. <laughs> okay. uh, so I can either have the bullfrog attack the wolf cub, and then the alpha will kill my bullfrog, or I now replace the bullfrog with the stoat. And then this spot, you sure? Well, I think so. I'll kill the wolf cop and then I trade even with the alpha, depending on attack turn. We have two bones, we can play in a possum. Everybody's laughing. Everybody's Thank you for the sub, appreciate it. Yeah, we actually are, take the lead against the Alpha. Yo, thank you, Booze and Lily. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. <laughs> However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. Oh. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. Wait, what are teeth? The trapper may be interested. Oh, they're currency. Oh, so when I took out a tooth to deal one damage to him, it was a momentary tempo-based play in a particular board game, but I lost currency, so it's pay to win. Now I've won and I got paid. Teeth for tempo, yep. What? The industrious beaver, when played, it constructs dams adjacent to it. Dude, I, it just gave me back Grubby the first. So that's the roguelikeness of it, right? Roguelite, rogue, roguelite, roguelike. This is a potential power up in a future game. It's, it's where the new game plus comes in, right? My second playthrough, I'm using something from the first. So it's not a pure first playthrough anymore. Interesting. Is that a screen cap or it just happens to look like him? I did actually smile in front of the webcam. I like to think they used my webcam and made something akin to it. Uh, he doesn't know. Indeed, I do not know. I feel like I need to know. But I can right click it. Dam builder. When a card bearing this sigil is played, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. It's a it's a zero two wall. Okay. All right. A card bearing this sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. Inscription stream. Love it. Have fun, but don't get discouraged by the second part. Smile. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So. I am a 6 HP wall that will just trickle 1 damage per turn to the opponent. 
and I'm airborne. Oh yes. Oh. Hmm. Mm hmm. That seems um, useful. Let's do it to find out. Let's do it to find out. I went to the fire last time. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, this is the sacrificial uh, altar. Uh, <laughs> well. <laughs> I'll go. Okay. So. What an honor. What did I just do? Do your legs cramp? Does your back ache? I just sacrificed Grubby to the stoat. He's honored. And what did he get? Flying? Remove the good card. Yeah. This game can be lengthy. Stand if you wish. Usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. All right, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. How, do, how come he has blue eyes? Is that because I sacrificed the player card? So I gave him flying. I just give the sigil. So it was quite a poor sacrifice. I could have given him flying protection like the frog. I lost my six health card that can trickle damage. It's kind of a waste, but now, now I know. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go next. Not going to sacrifice the stoat. Don't have anything else. Continue. So, oh no! I lost my squirrel. Um, I may need to use an extra squirrel. Coyote does more damage. We go for the coyote. And how many bones do we have? I like how it doesn't say how many bones you have. You can just... <laughs> That's so funny. It's like, count it yourself, buddy. It sells the atmosphere. It's essentially... This is a really interesting concept. This is a lack of quality of life. It's what you would actually present design obfuscation or lack of quality of life in order to sell the atmosphere of the game. And I like it. It's very interesting. So I don't have enough bones yet. Boulder. Uh... Oh, this is a toothy counter. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yo, piss like Bocek. Thank you very much for the five gift subs. Appreciate it. So if I take another two damage, I may almost die. One, two. I think I can, I think I got one more in the chamber. I'm gonna risk it. Wait, did my damage on the wolf bleed through? I expected to have one less life than I have now. I feel like maybe it, there's trample. Did I trample past the unit because I have more damage? I don't know. Oh no, I know why. My stoat didn't interact with the sparrow. This one is dead. Sparrow hit me, my stoat hit him. Okay, that's why. I concede. What? You may accept my surrender. 
Or you may finish this match the slow way. He concedes. He didn't play any new cards, so I'm not gonna accept. Pitiful. And in fact, I want to do maximum over damage. Let's see, how do I do maximum over damage? By keep letting his sparrow hit me. Good, 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 good. A possum. Rattler. Can I play it yet? Okay, here we go. Now we do maximum over damage. Okay. Good damage. Go next. I, I, I'm not gonna say I think this is the run. I'm assuming you can do a run, you can go to the end, and you can win. But you're going to need to do a lot of learning while building up extra valuable cards by initial playthroughs where you died. And then you use the mementos to create better cards and so on. And I don't know all the game mechanics yet. So, you know, generally, I think the amount of people that completed on their first run are going to be really rare. Uh, very low number, but it's not impossible. I don't think this is going to be it, though, because I made some mistakes already. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. <laughs> it's the same guy! Care to look at me pelts? Oh, he put on an accent to take a pelt free of charge. Oh, wait, is this a game with microtransactions? First one's free. Just fill in your credit card info and you'll have a 0.00, .00 charge. Rabbit belt. Wolf belt, rabbit. I'll take the golden belt then. See the quality? Yeah, give it to me. You'll need more teeth. But you said it's free! Oh, he just gave this one for free, yeah? I have three. No, I don't. I don't want. You're leaving already. Please consider me pelts. No. Thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight, but he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. I wanted uh, to save for the golden pelt. I'm no tyrant, you may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me to plan your next encounter, but do keep your hands off my possessions. Okay, let's go on. Go to the fire. So the fire is with the five statues. Enhance its health. So uh, what, I, what I think, oh, plus two health it says now. Okay, so we can give two health. But maybe there's like a chance it gets eaten instead. Oh no. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, they withdrew. Huh. Surely that's never gonna go wrong. It's just 100% a positive experience. The rule book? Everything is in here. But one by one page. Abilities one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I feel like the stoat is backseating. Yeah. 
So he put the wolf cup there. Ooh, I can play the rabbit belt. Dude, how garbage is that? It has no value in the game. Or does it? Oh, it's a one HP wall. I'm not gonna waste the belt. That's a currency. <laughs> Total misplay, he said. <laughs> what do you mean? That's a good play. Isn't it? <laughs> Enough. He's gonna absorb four hits and do four damage in the meantime. Actually... He's gonna attack the cop. It's good. No, he's not, because he's flying. And now it's a wolf. Oh. should have used how disappointing i should have used the special card from the side maybe it was a misplay maybe i didn't have enough good cards to play so i should have not drawn squirrels and just used the squirrel bottle i'm essentially almost losing the game in who wants to be a millionaire without using any of the helplines the trader her appearance was unsettling but you were mollified by her offerings do you mind if I examine those pelts? It's the same guy. Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. A actually, a hare and a rabbit are not the same creature. Uh, while it is true that they are both lagomorphs, uh, there are some distinct differences between the rabbit and the hare. So he did miscategorize... He, she miscategorized them. <clears throat> I can trade you any of these. Take your time. There's a mantis. Oh, this is my current deck. Oh, I see. Where's the, where's the rule book? Just now I clicked the rule book and now it's gone. Tough luck, buddy. So we can have a raven, a beaver, a river otter, sparrow, porcupine. Porcupine looks like in one turn something is going to happen. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Oh, I see. Spikes. It has spikes. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Oh, it's a moving wall. The creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. Stinky. It's a wall that will completely disable one attack attackers. And block a spot. Interesting. Bifurcated strike. A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right. Oh, that's nice. Let's do Mantis. These spells are most excellent, my thanks. <laughs> Uh, we don't go to the backpack. I think that's like giving giving like another bonus, which I have neglected to use so far. We can give health to a unit, which is decent. I forgot what this is, so let's find out what it is. Oh yeah, the sacrifice to give a sigil. But it, it only gives me two choices. Oh, that's... I can sacrifice flyer defense and give it to the rattler who only has one health then it's not much of a defense is it I don't I don't mm. this one only has one health no backseating, guys. No backseating. Please. Thank you. Um, 
So I can give by strike to Bullfrog, in which case he would lose flyer defense. I can give it to another 1-1, one, one, who is based on bones. The 3-1 on 6 bones, or the wolf. Makes most sense on the wolf then. Cool. All right, that's, that's good. That's good. Hmm. Boss fight. We're gonna use all power ups here. He looks like a pirate. I feel like he's a dungeon master and he's trying to make it all entertaining and stuff. He's role playing for our benefit. Pack Mule. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction described. How could he? The coyote is already there. Is he gonna push the coyote? I guess we'll see. Mm. Stoat is one five. Bullfrog. We'll go stoat here then. Fine. Oh, he couldn't move there. Oh, I see. That's what happens. What's this? Boulder? And what's this? Coyote. Uh, this is tempo for teeth. Put another squirrel, but I don't see myself needing it quite yet. Ow. Rattler. Uh, I have to put the opossum here. So I can kill the coyote. Because this stupid stoat has flying. Oh, he can't go here. What? Because it's blocked. Man. All right then. What a terrible setup for me. <laughs> Oh, this is kind of sick. But I can't put it in front of the coyote because he'll have first strike. But it will do just fine here. at my mule. Huh? I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them cards. Huh? What? What are you doing? Gold, I've struck gold. No, you're cheating. So he cheats every time I take a life. It's his game, yeah. I just lost my bifurcating attack. Wolf. That's not fair. Oh, I see. I have six. Get 
them. What's this? When an opposing creature is placed opposite, a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty... It's, it's played opposite an empty space. Oh, he's a guard dog. Uh, adder? Adder to kill the dog. And then I've got five bones. We have a bat. We have a warren. When a card bearing decidual is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. The rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. Hmm. So it's just a one turn delay. Now I wish the rattler was somewhere else, but he can't be. The coyote is gonna kill my flyer if I put it there. Never doubt the fecundity of rabbits. What's fecundity? I thought fecundity meant dirtiness. I'm not seeing the value of Warren. It's a two-place blocker for three health. It creates a lot of bodies. For bones. A serpent perhaps more deadly than man. Oh, it means they make babies. It is in a sense. Ah. Hey, we won. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be kidding you quite yet. Oh, when we win. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. When we win, right? We get our lives back. Interesting. 